Hi. Okay, YouTube. So I'm coming back to talk about frequencies. Um, the very first thing I usually say in my lectures to the group is congratulations. Because if you've showed up here, what you'll soon realize is that you're a very high frequency being with a very high consciousness. And there's a reason you showed up to learn about this. If you're having a lot of resistance to it, realize that this is a very high frequency art. It's a combination of science, quantum physics as we know it, and the newest threshold actually of quantum physics because it, it actually also incorporates consciousness or intention. And what they've discovered now with the double slit experiment is that consciousness actually does impact our reality. They don't know how, they don't know why, they just can now prove that it does. It's still mystifies them, it still seems to lie in the magical realm, but it's been proved by science to be true. Consciousness and intention actually affects matter, changes matter, creates matter. This is the new quantum physics. So let's go into the basics of frequency so we can then expand our knowledge of frequencies into using frequencies and the applications of frequencies. Okay, so the very first thing that you need to know about frequencies, and the, there's going to be three little laws here, and they go together, and they sum up the basics of frequencies, and then we'll move on to understanding frequencies more and then applying frequencies. Okay, so number one thing that you need to know about frequencies is that everything in the universe is a frequency. And when I say everything, that means person, place, and nouns, but it also means feelings. It means colors. It means events. It means happenings, you know. So when I say everything, I mean everything. Falling in love is a frequency just as much as a bologna sandwich is a frequency just as much as a war has a frequency okay so here we are in this unified space okay a bunch of waves and untold possibilities because it's it's a wave pattern okay it's not until we come into focus and pull the particles into form that something manifests here in the third dimension so Let's start out with everything in the universe is a frequency, okay? Now, let's move on to number two. All frequencies have a measurement. And on Earth, we've measured them in hertz, but that's just, that's just a numerical number. It has nothing to do with the universal application of frequencies and understanding frequencies. A frequency wave you measure the frequency by how much divinity or consciousness or love it's holding, okay? Now, so here, this is where the science gets a little murky, right? Okay, what, you're talking about math, you're talking about waves and particles, and now you're talking about an emotion like love? Yes, I am. And that's what we found in, in the new era of science. It's a science spirit. They are connected. They never weren't connected. We just weren't giving the spirit part of it any credence. So here we are. When we measure a frequency in universal tones, as the mind did from 1 to 13, then we are actually measuring how much force it's holding, or chi, or divinity, or Christ energy, or the Great White Spirit. However you want to talk about that space, that space is 99.99% .99 of everything, okay? And in that space are these vibrating waves that all have their own frequency that hold a measurement of that space or the totality or divinity. Okay, number three, the law of affinity. The law of affinity is a very simple yet profound science. It can also be called the law of attraction or like attracts like. So in the law of affinity, it says like things will attract like things, like waves will attract like waves, or in our case, like frequencies will attract like frequencies. And then once they are attracted to each other, they will begin to harmonize and resonate together to find a, a, an attunement place, a frequency. If there's two almost similar frequencies and they're being drawn together, they will find a meeting frequency that they can connect on get into that later. Okay, law of affinity states like attracts like. So when we begin to apply this to frequencies, that means like frequencies will attract like frequencies. 
okay? So those are the three basics of understanding frequencies and how they're made up, what they're made up with, and how they work. One, everything in the universe is a wave. Two, all waves hold a thumbprint of God's energy, and that's their frequency. And number three, the law of affinity, like attracts like. So, this is the simple part of understanding frequencies. The next thing we're gonna do is go into measuring frequencies. How do you measure how much something has, how much consciousness something has, or so much div how much divinity something has? And I'm gonna teach you how to do that. It's very simple, you do it with your heart. We do it all the time. But that's the next lesson, so I don't wanna get ahead of myself. I do wanna finish by saying, I'm going to be using, when we talk about frequencies, um, a level from one to 13. And I, that was the Mayans' way of measuring. It's also been a very, um, system that's been passed down in all sorts of ways through mythology through science even through our, our own courts the 12 and the 13 if you look throughout history you'll often see that the 12 represents the aspects of matter and the 13th is the unionized or the divinity in other words let's use Jesus there were 12 apostles and Jesus or God right there were 12 knights of the round table and then there was Arthur that represented that divine you know overhead being um, in astrology there's 12 signs uh, the 13th is the void before you go back in to the cycle once again in um, mythology the gods of Olympus there were 12 with fate being the 13th and even I mean they had that 12 was so important that even when Aphrodite was born they didn't just bring her on up to Olympus they kicked out another goddess the homely uh, the homely one I might add but anyway um, they had to keep the 12 now in science 12 spheres in three-dimensional form when put together will form an exact space for the 13th. Interesting one that it's a space, but it forms the 13th. So the 12 is not separate from the 13th, it's part of it. However, when you go and try and divide infinity, infinity possibilities or space, you can only measure it in the 12. At least, let's go with this theory. We can measure it 1 to 100, we can measure frequencies 1 to 1000 because you'll see there's infinite numbers. But just to stay in the 1 to 13 because it's it's simple and because it has all these kind of correlations that go back in many different ways, even music, well, we're going to use the 1 through the 13. So that's the first lesson on frequencies and next week we're going to go into measuring frequencies and I just wanted to say I'm really excited about this because just me talking about this made me start to use frequencies again myself and I manifested a, a few things that have been bothering me for a while and it made me so happy. I, I was jumping up and down and I was so grateful and even more so I was so grateful that I could come back and honestly say that this will work. When you understand frequencies and how we manifest things on earth into form through our conscious intention with matter and vibration, it, it will completely change your life. You will cease to be on autopilot and have to become the pilot of your life and drive it because once you know how and you know you have the power, you can't just let it go because you don't know where life is going to push you, right? And this science that's also connected to your heart right amazing not not just your brain but your heart this will change your life and I can't wait to hear all your stories when you get to the end of this and you're using it and you're coming back to me because it feels miraculous when something that seems impossible in your life and I've had these stories come back time after time with people in my lectures and they come back and they're like oh my god like I use that I, I, formula and it, and it worked and it's like and the best thing about it is one it really gives you your faith back because you feel like God really heard you and answered your prayer you know and 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 the second thing is it makes you feel empowered like I do have control over my life I'm not a victim to circumstances I can actually change even seemingly impossible things as you'll see and it's just great it kind of gives you back a thrill of life to be that involved and connected in your life instead of like feeling victimized okay everybody have a great day and thanks for tuning in and next week um, we're going to start with learning how to distinguish frequencies and then how to use them